Hi, everybody. Welcome to Tracy's Tuesday Talk. And I am absolutely thrilled to have our youth leaders here with us today. Um, most of you will recognize two of our youth leaders. And uh, two of our youth leaders, uh, the one to my left on my screen, probably not on everybody else's screen, but to the left of my screen is Caitlin. And you know Caitlin. And we all know uh, uh, Heather, who's like diagonally to me, Heather. And we have a new youth leader uh, in our midst, Jacqueline. Welcome, Jacqueline. She's just below me here. Um, and so uh, uh, Jacqueline has been a new youth leader since, um, remind me? October, mid-October since October, right in the midst of our COVID stuff. Yeah, so you jumped right in <laughs> with all this virtual stuff and uh, and we're, we're grateful that you're here and we make a, a nice full team again. So um, I thought we'd take some time today just to kind of get to know our youth leaders a little bit. Uh, most people in the congregation know nothing about what happens in, in youth group, um, which is, absolutely fine but people need to know that this ministry is so vital and so important and it has carried on this entire COVID time and so uh, we thought we'd do some do some sharing around that so the first thing that we'll do is we'll just I'll go around and see how everybody's doing what everybody's up to and just just a kind of a general check-in so who do we start with let's start with Caitlin <laughs> yeah hi um what have I gotten up to a whole lot of nothing um I'm currently in my fourth year of university, uh, doing everything online, which is not ideal, but we we do what we need to do. Um, I am currently working also at the University of Calgary Students Union as a Faculty of Arts representative. Um, so I represent the students in my faculty um, to, you know, administration, um, other important people. It's a little scary sometimes, but we make it through. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited to be here. And youth group is a passion of mine. And I absolutely love my job here. So yeah, I'm excited to talk about it today. Awesome. Thanks, Caitlin. Heather, how about you? Oh, boy. Yeah, much the same as Caitlin. I haven't been doing a whole lot. Um, I work as a swim instructor and a lifeguard at Vacova Recreation. And so obviously, all the pools and rec centers have been closed for a long time. And there's a brief little period when they open back up again. So I was with them for a couple months in the fall, but everything is all closed again. So it's a whole lot of nothing, but I took some online classes uh, last year in the spring and in the summer. So that kept me busy for a little while and different projects around the house and spending lots of time with my family, which has been really nice. Awesome. Thanks, Heather. And Jacqueline, how are you? Um, I'm good. Um, I want to say thank you for welcoming me first. Um, being a youth leader has been a big like source of pleasure for me um, and joining a new community in this pandemic has been really nice to be connected. Um, I like Caitlin and Heather, I'm not up to too much either. However, I've been enjoying this January weather. We're so like lucky to have such nice weather right now. So I've been going on lots of walks and I've been trying to use the extra time that I have to expand my mind and I'm taking a class on psychological development. So yeah, trying to do some exciting things while we have a little bit of extra time on our hands. That's right, that's awesome, awesome. I know we gotta take take advantage of this time when we uh, make the best of it, right? And yeah, for sure, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Great, so uh, let's dive right in. Um, each of you can kind of speak to how youth group is going, um, what it looks like. What are some highlights? All those kinds of things. Uh, I'm just going to leave it up to you. You take the reins. Go for it. Whoever wants to go first. <laughs> sure, I can start. Um, I guess it'll depend on who knows how much about the youth group, but uh, I'll start at the beginning with last March when COVID hit. Uh, we went online um, quite early last March and joined up with Simon's Valley United Church as well. And we combined the two youth groups and all the leaders and we did joint events every Friday. And that was really fun. It was nice to expand our community a little bit, even though we were kind of condensing down and sticking to our own houses and stuff. It was a nice way to expand our community to another church. Um, and then we went straight through the summer. Normally we don't have events in the summers. We take a break. A lot of people go away and do other things in the summers. But of course that wasn't the case this year. So we had, everybody was around and we kept going with youth group right through the summer. Uh, during that time, we became the youth leaders for Simons Valley as well as St. Thomas. The Simons Valley youth leaders stepped down and have moved on to different roles in their lives. 
So we have expanded our youth group quite a lot, which has been really fun. And we have a great community with the kids. Um, we continue to meet mostly virtually. There's a little bit of fall weather race and elections were a little bit, and we had some parking lot get togethers. So those were really nice to connect with everybody in person and see people's faces again instead of you know a little screen on my computer. Um, since then we have moved back online again and lots of games nights and lots of discussions. We have a WhatsApp chat as well where we post different prompts and questions, videos, things to get conversations rolling. And those have been really popular as well. Awesome. That's so great. You know, like this is, this is what I'm saying is that it's, it's amazing how, how the three of you have continued to connect this, this group of people and to, and to carry on and be, and have them connected to St. Thomas. Um, and, and that, that the value of community and that value of how important that is to stay connected. So that's awesome. All right, go for it. Keep going. <laughs> um, okay. So yes, youth group did move online back in March and um that was like a really scary time for me at least that was very much like what is going on with the world i don't really know and so our first be- meeting um online in march um i can't remember the exact date but i think it was like the you know to me march 13th sticks in my head because that was the day that everything related to school and everything shut down um, but I think it was the, I think it was the following Friday, we had our first online meeting and that meeting like stuck out in my mind. And I still think about it to this day um, because we just adapted. Like that was just what we did. We just were like, yep, this is what we're going to do. We're going to meet on Zoom. It was so funny. Um, I was craving a McDonald's burger and like I wanted a quarter pounder with cheese and I said that and I was like man I really want a quarter pounder with cheese but like obviously I couldn't go out and get one because we were all supposed to be staying at home and I don't think a quarter pounder is quite essential in in the minds of of others it's essential to me but I don't know about anybody else um and so I was playing around with my zoom uh background and I put up a picture of a McDonald's (laughs) And I was like, yeah, I'm in McDonald's and I'm, I'm eating magically my quarter pounder with cheese, which doesn't exist. Um, and we just had like a great, I think it was almost a three hour meeting and it was like just talking. We just talked and we just got to check in with everyone, see how everyone was doing. So that was really fantastic. Um, we've gotten better at online events as the time has progressed. We figured out ways to do things um, that we like didn't think that we could do virtually. Like we do baking nights um, where we will send out uh, a recipe in our weekly email that goes out um, at the beginning of the week on Mondays. And then that gives the youth enough time to get the ingredients, get everything sorted. And then we meet together on the Friday evening um, and we bake together. Uh, we've made We made these little like chocolate banana treats one time Um, around Christmas time. We did sugar cookies. Um, So that was really awesome. Uh, We have also, uh, we love online games. Um, So we play different online games. We've got online card games. We play um, Among Us is really popular too. Um, We also play Jackbox, which is like a way to virtually play games. Our youth love this one called Monster Seeking Monster. And the three of us, for the life of us, cannot figure out what is the appeal of this game. But everyone (laughs) loves it. Everyone loves it so much. And so um, that's been a sense of joy um, for us. Um, We also have been doing other games. We've been doing charades. Zoom charades is a blast. Um, we also have been doing virtual scavenger hunts. So the youth leaders have like an, a running list of different scavenger hunt prompts. Um, and then we send the youth off in their homes to find the different items um, around their houses. And then it, it becomes a whole, you know, we got point systems and we have winners and stuff. So yeah, it's been really fun. And like personally for me, youth group, meeting on Friday nights has been like literally the only constant in my life for the past what like 10 months and so I am really grateful for this opportunity to kind of 
have that and have the space to meet and be in a community. Um, and yeah, so it, it's really awesome. That's fantastic. Awesome. Thank you very much. Kate or Jacqueline, what about you? What are some things that you want to share? Well, I think something that Caitlin said was very interesting in that, like, you know, sometimes they just talk and sometimes they play games. And I think that a, an important thing about youth group is we do like spice it up and keep it with the, some variety because, you know, like on Friday nights, we'll try to do something more fun where people can interact and we'll do those games, those scavenger hunts. But we also run our junior and senior high coffee chats, which we still call our coffee chats with no coffee. It's virtual, but we think it's fun to keep the tradition of the name. So it gives the youth like a chance to chat and talk about their lives. Um, and so I think it's important that we kind of offer both of those things because, you know, in, in COVID, sometimes it feels like you're in a rut and everything feels like it's the same all the time. And so by kind of offering that variety, I know that I've enjoyed the variety, so I hope the youth do as much as I do. Um, but just to kind of in terms of what it looks like is, you know, um, Friday from seven to nine, we'll still gather at the same time as we would if we were in person. We'll play your games, we'll have some fun. And then on the weekends, we do once a month, we do those senior high, junior high coffees. And we also still attend Naked Faith. Um, it is online, but we are still entertained through first day service. And then Josh and Andrew do a um, Instagram live. So we are keeping up our different variety of activities in a, in, in a, in a different sense. But I think it's fun. Variety is the spice of life. And I think it really helps in this pandemic. Yeah, I totally agree. I think it's, it's one of those things that people want to be engaged and I'm finding that with the adults too, right? People want to be engaged. Um, they don't exactly know what it looks like, but if you have an idea and if you have, if you're offering something, boy, it's a, it's amazing how, how many people jump at that and want to be, want to be connected. They want to, we, we miss our, we miss each other is the idea. So I think that's fabulous. Yeah. So, so tell us what some of the things are that you're planning for the future still, like what's, still, what's up, what's upcoming that we can be sending our prayers and good wishes to we have another charades improv kind of night coming up. We've done charades before. The improv is a new twist to it that we haven't done before. So we're going to experiment a little bit and see what games we can make work virtually. And charades is always a good one. It's very entertaining. <laughs> For sure. Um, and then uh, the following Friday, we are also going to be doing a trivia night. Um, we have yet to decide like what, how, how that's going to happen. We've done it in the past using like Kahoot is an, a website that's really good for that. Um, we did a Jeopardy night one night, which was super fun as well. Um, but yeah, I think we're leaning towards like a fantasy movie theme, maybe like Harry Potter, maybe Avengers even, like Marvel, that kind of stuff. Nice. And I'm excited for our paint night we have coming up later in February. Um, one thing that I noticed is that the, the youth are really, really great artists and they love to talk about their art. So we wanted to put together a, a night that they would really appreciate. So we don't know exactly again how we're going to run this, but we've done art nights in the past and we're hoping to kind of do like a paint night that you would normally do in um, like if you went to a, a shop, but it would be online through YouTube. So I think it'd be fun. That's fantastic. That is awesome. It, it's amazing. You know, the, the creativity that's, that's actually come out of this whole thing, right? I mean, we're all still creative, I think, and we're, you know, but this has given us different opportunities and different um, ways of being differently creative. Yeah. And so I think that's so, so awesome. Yeah. So awesome. And you're giving us some ideas for us adults to, you know, we, we gotta, we gotta join the club here and start doing some interesting things to stay connected. But I think a lot of people have done that over, over Christmas, you know, they've done some more zoom things with their families and grandchildren. And, and so um, we can do this, right. We, and we're in it together and this is exactly how we do it together. Yeah. So, well, thank you all. I just want to 
for a heartfelt and be prepared to cry, Caitlin, a heartfelt, heartfelt uh, thank you to all three of you for all your commitment and all your help and all your uh, love of the, of this ministry and of the kids and, um, and, and working together in such a nice coherent, you know, like it's a, it's a good group. This is a good, uh, a good team. And, um, and so I just appreciate each and every one of you. And, and I know, know the church um, loves everything that you, that you're doing for, for our young people and all the things that you're doing for the rest of us, because I know that we've sent out cards that the, that, the youth have written for congregants and and notes and 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 things and you've been involved in helping uh with some of the some of the wider church things so so um you're huge blessings to to me and um and to saint thomas and so we thank you so much for everything that you do for us thank thank you thank you i am crying <laughs> <laughs> thank you that's very nice thank you Tracy. thank you you're very welcome. Well, thanks, everybody. And thanks for tuning in to Tracy's Tuesday Talk. And uh, if you want, send you can send a nice little encouraging note to our youth leaders. They are fabulous, fabulous and continue to be fabulous and have not stopped being fabulous. And so um, we love them all. And uh, we love you, too. Have a great week, everyone. Take care. Bye. Bye.